Hey folks, today we will talk about monopoly market. Unlike in a perfectly competitive market, a monopoly market has specific assumptions that is unique to the market itself. In the case of a, a monopoly market, there is only one seller and there are many buyers. So unlike in a perfectly com competitive market, there were many uh, sellers and many buyers. In this case, we only have one seller and many buyers. At the same time, there are no close substitutes. So whatever the firm is producing, it is really unique. Uh, it's, it's really a unique good that no other firms are able to produce. Now, moreover, it's very, very, very difficult to enter the market. So for new firms who would like to sell this unique good, uh, they would have to kind of overcome uh, the power of one seller, one producer, which they can easily buy out or perhaps uh, muscle its way with new producers coming in. So we, call, we can call this uh, difficult to enter the market. Now, we also know that a monopoly is the entire industry. So monopoly is itself is the industry. Hence, they have a lot of influence in setting the price, which makes a monopolist a price setter. A price setter. So knowing that they are a price setter, we can then say that price will not equal marginal revenue. Again, as a recap, marginal revenue looks at how much revenue a company is going to take in if they were to produce one more good. In our case of a mobile car wash, how much in revenue will the firm receive when it washes one more vehicle? So knowing that we, we have our information, I'm using the same numbers we've used before in our mobile car wash, but now, since this is a monopoly market, they are its entire industry, I'm going to put here the following, $50 to wash one vehicle. So here's the dilemma. Even though the monopolist is the only seller, they still would have to abide by the law of demand. If they want to sell a, a, a product, if they want to wash a vehicle, they would have to at least find a way to lower the price. So perhaps at $50, even though it is a unique good, maybe people are not going to want to have their car wash whatsoever. So the monopolist would need to reduce its price. At $40, they can be able to wash one vehicle. If they lower their price some more, 30, they can wash two, 25, 20, and let's say down to $10. So then now that we have our numbers in price, uh, we are able to now find the total revenue. So now we can find the total revenue. Once again, total revenue is a function of quantity times price. And since price is now given, we can go ahead and calculate total revenue and then calculate our marginal revenue. So after doing the calculation, we can now see that total revenue is a following where we have zero times 50 is zero, one times 40 is 40, two times 30 is 60, three times 25 is 75, four times 20 is 80, and five times 10 is 50, our total revenue. So now we could find the MR, and we know that MR is a function of the change in TR over the change in quantity. So if we look at zero, there is no change, hence why we have the hyphen. But from zero to one, we do see a change in total revenue. This is 40 minus zero, that's 40, over one minus zero, which gives us 40. Now we have from one to two, another change, 60 minus 40, that's 20, over two minus one, that's one, it gives us 20. Oops. From the change of 2 to 3, now we can see 75 minus 60, that's 15, over 3 minus 2, that becomes 15. 
From 3 to 4, we have 80 minus 75, that's 5, over 4 minus 3, that's 1, that gives us 5. And last but not least, we have 50 minus 80, that's negative 30, over 5 minus 4, that's 1, to give us a negative 30. Now, it's okay to have a negative number for MR, because again, this would mean that whatever you are going to produce, or in this case, wash your vehicle, your marginal revenue is now in quadrant four, it's now in, in the negative, and then that should hopefully be a sign for you to not produce or wash at that number of vehicles. So now that we have our MR, we could then graph the last four of the columns here. And remember that since price does not equal MR, we also need to graph price. So we will have a total of five columns, price, ATC, ABC, MC, and MR. I am again excluding AFC from the graph. And now we can go ahead and graph uh, those columns.